Whew. So, I'm done working. Um, I think it's time to have some fun. And this time, with a couple of flat earthers and their arguments that I actually already addressed before. And although I thought that my arguments were convincing and easily explained, and I brought across the message, I of course spectacularly failed to convince that they were wrong. And I'm still wondering why. It's because they're flat earthers. So here's me trying to convince them again. Now in 1966, the Gemini program from NASA was in full swing. They were training astronauts and checking out systems to go to the moon. This was three years before Neil Armstrong was the first human to set foot on the moon, at least as far as I know. That's one small step for man. Gemini 9A was a mission around the Earth where the astronauts attempted to dock with the ATDA that was launched into orbit prior to the Gemini craft launch. The objective was to connect both spacecrafts at the rendezvous point where both orbits aligned. Unfortunately, the fairings from the ATDA did not deploy properly, so the docking maneuver turned out to be impossible. Nonetheless, they approached the target multiple times and trained to align the two spacecrafts. Now, to align a spacecraft using pitch, yaw and roll rotations, the astronauts fired the reaction control thrusters. They were called the Gemini Orbital Attitude Maneuvering System thrusters, or OAMS thrusters for short. These were also used to separate Gemini from the second stage of the Titan launch vehicle and acted as a launch abort system. During its flight, the Gemini 9A spacecraft was approaching the ATDA from above. To align Gemini, the thrusters were used to perform a pitch maneuver. This can be seen over here. The thrusters started the rotation, then turned off, and after three seconds they fired again to stop the rotation. During these three seconds, the Earth in the background suddenly appeared to stop scrolling by, and the ATDA came in view. And this confused a lot of flat earthers and space deniers. Level Earth Observer was the first to publish a video about it, and argued that the spacecraft needed to stop full flight and rather abruptly to give us this view. Ben from Taboo Conspiracy quickly rehashed the argument, and then Jaronism jumped on the train wreck and included it in his live stream. At the same time, I was making a debunk video where I mimicked the maneuver while walking. This revealed that we expect to see a perspective shift in the background and even some parallax effect in the clouds. My argument was simple the Gemini spacecraft did a pitch maneuver, and the camera continued filming. The expected effect matched the observation. But despite my hopes, the space deniers were not easily convinced. On the contrary, they even produced more arguments. Level Earth Observer argued that if the spacecraft is really continuing its flight, we expect the reflection in this part of the spacecraft to continue showing movement. But in the footage, we see it also stop. So it must be faked. He also argued that it could not be the camera tilt, because that would Gemini move in our view. Gemini is a point of reference and shows the spacecraft most definitely stopped, for sure. The book Conspiracy argued the same and wants us to drive around in a car to replicate it, otherwise it's no good. Jaron wasn't able to replicate it himself and yet argues that it could be done in the studio. Huh. Which looks kinda like he is distancing himself from the arguments against the footage. So let's tackle these arguments, shall we? When we look at the photographs of the spacecraft, we quickly find the part that is visible in our clip. This part of the nose and the direction the windows are facing. When we align the camera with those holes in the nose, we find that the camera is actually behind one of the windows. That explains the black band in our view. Also, this angle is very similar to the photos taken by the astronaut from inside of the capsule. So, if the camera was mounted at the interior of the capsule, it's not the camera that moved in relation to the craft, but the entire craft, as expected. This also means that we don't expect to see the capsule move in our frame. To address the reflections, we need to mimic the flight. So here's the Earth with a layer of clouds. At about 270 kilometers above the surface, we have our Gemini spacecraft. The camera is mounted in it, and the whole spacecraft is facing towards Earth. Then there's the ATMA, re represented by this cylinder. We orient the camera so that the ATMA isn't visible in view, and if we now press play, we can see that the clouds are passing by. If I now animate that the spacecraft is making a pitch maneuver that lasts about 3 seconds, this is what we would see. 
when the spacecraft is constantly in view in our left bottom corner, the clouds suddenly stop. Cloud patterns, however, displays our perspective shift, and we can even see the parallax in the cloud. And look at that, the reflection in the spacecraft stopped too. But I know for a fact that space deniers don't think a computer model is the way to go. But since I cannot build a spacecraft and show them in real life how it would look, let's make a scaled down model. So what we need is a camera, some clay, a mirror, maybe a cylinder with some aluminium foil around it, and of course some nice background. 270 kilometers is the height of the orbit, so let's make it about 27 centimeters. The speed is 18,000 miles an hour, or 8 kilometers per second, and this means we need to do a 0.8 centimeters per second movement. That's doable. Very slow, actually. Here we go. Slow movement, start rotation. Stop rotation. And what do we notice? The spacecraft stayed in view. The background stopped, but showed a perspective shift. And the reflection stopped too. And there you go. Very easy to mimic what we see in the original footage. But of course you can just argue that because it is possible to fake it, therefore it is faked. But I have seen people fake being flat earthers. Using the same logic, there aren't actually any flat earthers. And with that, take care and bye bye.